Hey, it's your girl Barbie J here, and we are talking about the First Wives Club, Season 1, Episode 5, What Happens Upstate. This, this episode was hilarious to me. I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed this episode better than some of the other ones that included their husbands. These didn't really include their husbands, so it was really hilarious because they got to be wild and stuff. And um, I think I... Um, what was I'm trying to say? Uh, they got to get loose with all this this tea that they drink. I don't know if it was some hallucinogenics in it or something, but this episode was funny. Especially, I think Brie was like the funniest one to me. But um, she was the funniest one. But before I get started, I want to give a shout out to everybody in the comment section. And for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Help a sister out. Hit that little red subscribe button to help my channel grow. Hit the um, little notification bell to let you know how often I upload a new video, which is just about every day. I upload at least five or six videos a week. So um, I'd love your support. Help a sister out. And let's get started with this review. So it starts off with them on a bus, on this bus with the windows blacked out. I guess they were guests of the girl Marcel. Marcel has a reality show. If you see my episode from last week, she was the one who did the reality show for um, Hazel. But anyway, so she has a reality show and she um, invited all of them to go in this upstate to a party. And the windows were blacked out on the bus, so you didn't know where you were going. I guess it was like a secret hide hideaway place. And when they got off the bus, it looked like a big old mansion. It looked huge. Like there was, it spread out, I don't know how far. And what they did was, um, while they was on the bus, Bree was, uh, got up and started dancing and stuff. And they were teasing, they were teasing Ari because she wasn't dressed appropriately. She wasn't dressed appropriately. She thought it was a business meeting. It wasn't. Um, Brie had a little short mini dress. It was dancing. And then her husband called and she's arguing with Gary because he's mad because she left the kids with him. So he, and he had to babysit when he claimed he had plans. And she was like, well, too bad for your plans, honey, because mama need to get out. And he's like, look at you with your titties out and stuff. And I'm sitting there going, Bree's dress was crisscross up here. It wasn't no titties out in her dress. So I don't, I don't know why they put that part in it because that wasn't what was happening. But she was working it out. She had that little short dress. She was having her good time. Um, um, Hazel is talking with Marcel, and she decides to um, share. She's um, she's thinking she's going to meet this guy Beast, who's like the biggest product producer in town. And she shared with Marcella that how Derek, her ex husband, or her, still he's still her husband, how he stole money from Beast years ago when they were first starting out. So I was like, wow. And, and, you know, but anyway, so they get to this big party, this party, and they collect everybody's cell phones and any kind of photographic um, devices. And so the guy collecting the, the, the guy who's collecting the um, devices, he gets on his walkie talkie. Like we got a, uh, how did he say that? Um, uh, we got a, uh, he told about Ari's outfit. We got a, she's just like a, he said, what, what did he say? We have a um a size four boardroom from head to toe. That's what he said. Size four boardroom from head to toe. He was talking about Ari. And he said, yeah, she just like a mariachi band leader. And I fell out because it did have those sleeves and stuff. And it, and it was so, he, when he said it, I just started laughing because that was so funny. And, and they were like, oh, snap. You see how Sinbad snapped on you like that? <laughs> it was so funny. She was mad. But they made her go upstairs, and she had to go change. I guess they had a wardrobe room up to something up there where you could change your clothes because they wasn't allowing her in the party like that, I guess. Because when she came back down, she had a short little spring, uh, glittery little mini dress and stuff. And she felt, she felt like a hooker <laughs> in it. <laughs> But it was like, wow, I don't know what this place was where they got wardrobe upstairs for you. They won't let you come in the club looking crazy. So what else happened? So um, um, they all see Ari. Uh, oh, so they see Ari's old law school fling. 
um, I forgot what his name, Wesley. And you know, Bree is like, Wesley? And they be like, stop, don't say nothing. You know, she's like, she don't want to see him. She don't want him to see her in that little dress. And she looked like a hooker and all this stuff. So she was upset about that. So then Hazel, um, Marcel said, oh, there goes such and such. He works with Beast. Let me go over there. And Hazel said, I'm going to go with you. Hazel goes over there with her. And that's when she finds out that they didn't even know she was coming. So Beast people didn't even know she was coming. And Marcel had lied to her. So she was, Hazel was pissed at that point. And she's like, that's the only reason I came. Because I thought he would talk to me about my music and stuff. And that wasn't happening. So she's unable to meet with him because he has been in silent meditation all week. Silent, mm, you know. Anyway, so um, what else happened? So all of a sudden, they are passing out this tea. And, and the guy is saying it's by biote, peyote, and it's peyote, and it has been blessed. And so Hazel drinks some, but it didn't do nothing to her. What's her name? Uh, Bree drank it, and she went all kind of crazy, I think. <laughs> she she started dancing and going off and everything, and they saw, and no, before she started dancing, nope, that was before. What happened is um, the great shaman came out as they was giving out the tea. The great shaman came out to the stage, and Bree and Ari was like, oh, hell no, we're getting the heck up out of here. This is some pagan Ill Illuminati mess and I can't be down with this. And Hazel said, you ain't got to tell me twice. She said, I want to be out too. So they trying to leave. And Marcella's like, where y'all going? And she, they like, we leave. Are we getting out of here? She said, girl, y'all can't go nowhere. All the buses are gone. You know, beast parties last until the morning, six in the morning or something like that. So that's when they come back. You got to stay here all night. And they like, what? Everybody was like, what? They couldn't believe they had to be there. And I guess they feeling we too old for this right now. But what ended up happening, long story short, um, that tea they had, it had some kind of hallucinating something in it because all of them ended up doing something crazy or thinking they did something crazy that they probably did not do. And so, um, I'll start with Ari. Ari, she, first of all, she got sick from it and she needed to throw up and she was trying to find a place to throw up and go to a bathroom. And that's when she ran into Wesley, her old flame. And he wanted to talk to her. And she's like, I got to go. And and he was like, wait, where you going and stuff? And she would Bleh! and just threw up on him, vomit, whatever we want to call it, all over him. And she, Wesley was like, oh, snap. So I guess he kind of cleaned himself off. They sat down and talked and chatted for a while and stuff. Next thing you know, um, they, they were chatting for a while. Next minute. It looked like they making out. She's in a room changing her clothes. And he, he was fixing something like a latch on the back of it. And he was like, let me let you get some rest. And he was walking out the room. And the next thing you know, she said, wait, and jumped on him. Because she had already shared that her and her husband don't have a lot of fun anymore. And he said, you used to be fun in college, you know. And she was like, yeah, you were free spirit. He said, you know, I saw free spirit in you too. And I think that's what caused them to supposedly. So it might be that that didn't happen. That I think that was part of the hallucinating she thought happened. Then Bree, she had um, what was hers? Oh, oh, she she started dancing and going crazy on the dance floor, and some man stopped her in a robe, and he said, um, I know what you've been seeking, cause she didn't have on shoes. She was doing splits. She was doing high kicks. She was rolling all over the place. <laughs> she was going off. That's why she was my funny as well. And he said, I know what you're seeking. And she's like, whoa, that's some real big dick uh, energy coming from you or something. <laughs> she, then she said the shaman told her, he told her that, um, that did he say Ari or was it him that had, had cobwebs in her pussy and needed to clean them out? <laughs> I, I said, she, she, ooh, that tea did something to her. And then while she's with him, she thinks she sees her husband. And she's like, what is Gary doing here? So she go and confront him. He with some female. And she's like, yo, you better get out of here because I'm trying all my energy not to jump on you. So the girl goes and he's talking to her. And they get into an argument or something. And he backs up and she kind of pushes him a little bit. And he backs up. And next thing, there's a knife coming through him. She pushed him into something that had a knife sticking out. I said, oh my God. And she was like, oh my God. And he was bleeding and everything. And so she freaked out. She was freaking out. Then it switched to Hazel. Hazel was able to, um, she took another sip of that cup, that tea. The first one didn't do nothing for it. The next second tip, sip, she took a drink. 
they told her she's able to see beast. And that's when she took it. So um, he would see her since she was here. So she drank another cup and she walking down this long hallway and she's seeing stuff. She saw a damn llama. You know, when they got off that bus, they saw llamas and everything walking around outside. That was some crazy wild stuff. So now she's inside and she's walking down the hall and you see a llama. She's like, what the hell? And she was like, what am I looking at? You know, <laughs> But she finally makes it to um, Beast, and I don't know what happened. You know, Beast is talking. He brings up the fact that her husband stole money from him in the beginning, and she didn't say a word and do nothing. And he said, well, sh she said, well, he, he messed me over too. The sweetest revenge is us working together and getting back at him. And he said, yeah, I'm down with that. But then he started doing some stupid stuff, like playing these stupid notes and say, sing, Hazel, sing, sing for me. You come begging for, for a job now, you're going to need me. You old school, I'm new school. You're going to have to come through me if you want to succeed. And, and he's playing these notes and she's like, wait a minute. And she said, I don't need you. I'm Hazel Mother effing Ro Rochelle and blah, 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 blah. And she went off on him and she walked out. And next thing you know, it's morning. It was morning. And it, I don't know how all of this was happening, but Ari wakes up in the bed and some little boy is sitting on the edge of the bed staring at her um, and, and said how peaceful she looks when she sleep. Then Bree comes in there and saying, oh my God, I killed Gary, I killed Gary. And she, I got blood all over me. She's like, no, you don't. She said, yes, I do. And she looked down, there's no blood on her. And Gary ain't there. And um, <laughs> and then Bri um, Hazel coming in. Her hair was all over the place. Stuff was sticking all out of her hair. They was like, "What in the world happened to you?" And she said, um, she um, she said um, she smoked some weed with a uh, with some talking unicorns and woke up in a barn. <laughs> I said, "You smoke weed with talking unicorns and ended up in a barn." I'm telling you, her hair, she looked crazy. So they all had a crazy, and they were like, this is some bull. We can't wait to get up out of here. And then Marcel comes by and says, hey, y'all, do you had a good time? They was like, what? Are you kidding? <laughs> Hazel said, biatch, you're fired. She's like, what? I'm fired? Yeah. She said, what, y'all didn't have a good time? I was lit. They was like, get out of here. So that's how it ended. But, and, but then there was something, no, they were on a bus, and... They were glad. They said that it was hallucinating. None of, they didn't do none of the stuff that they thought they did. But what ended up happening is there was a video on um, Ari's cell phone of her like dancing or doing something or and it looked like she was nude. So who knows? She's wondering, did I do something with my old um, law school fling or not? Did I do something with Wesley? So that's how it went off. But that episode was really funny. It was fun. They got to be loose and free. No husbands badgering them, even though Brie had a little bit with her husband. But I enjoyed that episode. It was all the ladies and the First Wives Club. And it was great. So I give it a 10. This is your girl, Barbie J, saying peace.